Checking on money matters. Holiday discounting has led to a drop in U.S. online prices. And new inflation numbers will be released in less than an hour. Jane King joining us now live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good morning, Jane. Hi, Bruce and Jen. Good morning to you. Yes, we get the wholesale inflation number today, and we expect it to show that we have seen peak inflation. It's the producer price index number, and it basically measures what businesses pay for raw materials, labor. Those costs often do get passed on to consumers eventually, and this is the last inflation report before the Federal Reserve meets next week. Well, the U.S. housing market's deep freeze is likely to accelerate next year and result in the first year-over-year -year decrease in home prices in a decade. Redfin says the median U.S. home sale price is projected to fall 4 percent to 368000 next year. Home markets in the Midwest and Northeast are seen as maintaining their prices in the year ahead. And a record drop in the price of computers and electronics sold online in the U.S. caused a 2 percent annual decline in online prices last month. Adobe says that's the third straight month that online prices have fallen compared to a year ago. Firms have been heavily discounting goods to move merchandise. And more than 7 in 10 Americans find it easier to relate to strangers in online communities than to people they know in real life. This was conducted by one poll on behalf of Thrift Books. The survey said that social platforms are often the place where people get their recommendations for TV shows and books and movies, and 40% usually hear of trending reads through social media, compared to 20% who rely on word of mouth. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you.